Sharks are often viewed as one of the ocean's top apex predators, but despite this rather prestigious classification, there is one marine animal that most sharks prefer to avoid crossing paths with entirely, the dolphin. Honestly, that's a little weird actually, because we know the dolphins are generally cute and playful while sharks are scary and full of teeth. But there are actually a few reasons why sharks avoid coming into contact with dolphins as much as possible. But first, let's get one thing clear. Sharks don't go yelping off in terror because they saw a dolphin, because let's face it, that would completely destroy the whole, oh, I'm a big bad shark, so you're gonna have to fear me image they're trying to put out. But dolphins have been known to successfully take on sharks, sometimes with fatal consequences for the latter, so a smart shark is going to mostly avoid a pod of healthy dolphins. With that said, there are a multitude of reasons why sharks are afraid of dolphins, and I'm here to tell you all about them. Number one is probably the main reason why, so make sure you stay tuned to find out what that is. Here are just some of the reasons why sharks are afraid of dolphins. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Our first reason, safety in numbers. Sharks aren't exactly known for their good social skills. Rarely do you see two sharks just hanging out or even while hunting. They're solitary creatures relying on their many evolutionary gifts and hunting skills to take down prey. On the other end of the spectrum, many rely on numbers to stay safe from predation. You see that behavior a lot in herd animals such as zebra, deer, wildebeest, and the like. You can also see that behavior in sea animals, as most fish swim in schools. This behavior ensures that most of the members of the group survive, while some, mainly the young, the extremely old, and the injured get eaten. That's basically survival of the fittest in a nutshell. Dolphins behave in a similar manner. They're always seen swimming in groups called pods, whether it be traveling, hunting, or just hanging out. They are intensely social animals that communicate with squeaks, whistles, and clicks. The most common pod is a nursing pod, which comprises mainly of nursing mothers and their calves and could include between 5 to 20 individuals. However, dolphins have also been known to gather in mass numbers. This is then called a super pod, and there could be at least 1,000 individual dolphins swimming in that group. Any predator would be intimidated to tackle such a large group, sharks included. In fact, pods of dolphins have been seen swimming along with sharks nearby, with both species content to just ignore the other. But one of these species still needs to be wary of the other, and I'm not talking about the dolphins. You see, despite swimming in such a large group, dolphins do sometimes feel threatened when a shark is nearby. Like I mentioned earlier, if sharks see a sign of weakness, like when there is a stray dolphin calf or an injured individual, it gives them an incentive to keep a close eye on the pod. But instead of fleeing to a safer location, dolphins actually pester these sharks to the point that the sharks have no other action but to go away. What do dolphins actually do to make the sharks go away? Well, you better stay tuned to find out that answer. Our next entry is Apex Predators. When someone says apex ocean predator, the first thing that would probably come to mind is a shark. More specifically, the great white, which is arguably the most fearsome shark of all. But the thing is, in order for you to be an apex predator, you need to be on top of the food chain. And the fabled great white isn't the one on top. That coveted spot actually belongs to a species of dolphin. It's just that people don't realize that it's actually a dolphin. Cue the real apex predator, the orcas, also known by their other name that is the cause of their mistaken identity, the killer whale. Even the great white shark is scared of them, so much so that orcas can force the great white into hiding for an extended period of time. A new study published in the journal Scientific Reports found that the mere presence of orcas in the water led to a noticeable absence of great white sharks. The researchers behind the study monitored the waters in the Pacific Ocean off the Faralian Islands near San Francisco, where great whites are known to hunt for elephant seals. They found that if a pod of orcas came along, the sharks fled their preferred hunting grounds and didn't come back until the following year. Between September and December each year, great white sharks congregate in California's Greater National Marine Sanctuary off the coast of San Francisco to dine on young elephant seals. According to the researchers, orcas, who incidentally also enjoy a dinner of elephant seal, showed up in the area only rarely during hunting season. This is seen on just 18 days of the entire 27 years of observations. Sometimes the orcas were around for even less than an hour. But that was more than enough for the sharks. During those 18 days, the study's authors found there were four observed encounters between orcas and gray whites. Data from the shark's tracer tag showed that when these two predators found themselves in the same area, all the great whites swam away within minutes of the orca's arrival, and don't come back until the next hunting season. But why though? Well, apparently orcas have a taste for shark liver pate. 
Scientists have observed orcas actively hunting gray whites, ripping them apart, and feasting only on their livers. Scientists speculate that since shark liver is highly nutritious, eating shark livers gives orca an energy boost. Kinda like you chugging down a Red Bull. Now it's time for the day's best pick. And today's pick is a photo that shows a dolphin which looks like it's attacking a shark. From the previous entry, we do know that orcas do regularly attack and prey on sharks, but pictured here is just your garden variety dolphin. Now the question, does this really happen out in the wild? Well, let's find out next with our next entry, Atomical Advantage. There's no doubt that sharks are built for the kill. Their incredibly fast swimmer is an arm with thousands of razor sharp teeth that immediately get replaced when broken. They usually stalk their prey from above or below, and strike with such speed that scientists say that the trauma from the impact alone can render even a large prey immobile. There's one thing that dolphins have an advantage over sharks though, and that's the fact that dolphins are more maneuverable. Sharks can be easily outmaneuvered by dolphins in a one-on-one -on -one fight, particularly because of the characteristics surrounding their physical build. Dolphins have soft skin and a flexible skeletal structure which allows them to be efficient in a fight. A dolphin's vertically oriented rear fin, coupled with its incredible flexibility, provides it with heightened mobility. Comparatively, sharks have horizontally oriented rear fins and aren't nearly as flexible, which puts them at a severe disadvantage when facing a pod of dolphins. Healthy dolphins are fast too, and they're more agile than those, let's say, big lumbering gray whites. So a pod of dolphins might surround a shark and slap it with their fins before proceeding to the battering ram part of the attack. In a sense, they're kind of just annoying until it goes away. And yes, you didn't hear me wrong, dolphins do attack sharks. But with what, I hear you ask? Well, surely those tiny little cone-shaped dolphin teeth couldn't even pierce a shark's tough sandpaper-like skin? Well, they don't use their teeth. Instead of stabbing, they attack using blunt force trauma. The head of dolphins have very thick and very strong skin and act as a biological body ram. The dolphins will slam their snouts into the soft stomach of the shark, which leads to serious internal trauma. They also use their snouts to hit the gills of the shark, and a well-placed hit can cause enough damage to kill a shark. Often enough, the shark is frightened by the first blow and will swim away. Sharks sometimes even swim away from encounters bruised and battered. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. And our final entry, Brain vs. Brawn. Among the many animals in the world, there are a few smarter than dolphins. These amazing marine mammals are capable of impressive problem solving, social interactions, and using what appears to be a complex communication system. And this intelligence is what I believe to be the main reason why those dumb sharks are so afraid of them. While intelligence is difficult to quantify in any organism, many studies suggest that dolphins are second only to us humans in smarts. Using brain size as a barometer, dolphins come in second only to humans in brain to body size ratio. However, dolphins also excel intelligence-based tests. Research shows that dolphins mirror self-recognition, cultural learning, comprehension of symbol-based communication systems, and an understanding of abstract concepts, comparable to chimpanzees and other great apes. Dolphins have relatively large and complex brains that developed over thousands of generations. Presumably, dolphin brains evolved to meet the needs of their environment. Intelligence and highly involved social interaction became the means of survival for dolphins, and their brains adapted accordingly. And the result of this highly developed intelligence can be seen in their behavior, especially when around sharks. First of all, it takes a certain degree of intelligence to effectively live in a group such as a pod. That is why scientists believe that the series of chirps and whistles are actually a form of communication more advanced than we ever thought. Communication is key when relaying to other pod members that there's potential danger about, like a shark. It also takes a degree of intelligence to decide whether to flee or fight off with these predators. And when they do decide to fight, launching a direct, coordinated attack against a single enemy is also a sign of advanced intelligence. I bet you've heard stories about dolphins saving swimmers and divers from sharks, and those are all true stories, and scientists believe that these events are also signs of a dolphin's intelligence. In two similar incidents, one in 2004 and one in 2007, pods of dolphins circled imperiled surfers for over 30 minutes in order to ward off aggressive great white sharks. And in 2000, a 14-year-old boy fell off a boat in the Adriatic Sea and nearly drowned before being rescued by a friendly dolphin. The marine mammal swam up alongside the boy and pushed him back to the boat from which he had fallen, where the boy's father promptly scooped him up. 
Do you know other reasons why sharks are terrified of dolphins? Well, let us know down below in the comments. Also, check out our other videos about amazing wildlife. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.